Have a look at this tree. We've it's got two orange trees here. Yeah, yeah. Navel. Yep. And blood orange. Have you picked fruit off them? I have here, but not last season. And last season I got about 30 oranges off this oh, one. Oh, nice. Delicious. Beautiful. Oh, look at the health seedless. in this. Have a look at the health in this tree. Have a look at it. This is fantastic. It's like a little bride, isn't it? Full of flowers. So they overbear a bit, yeah. don't they? Yeah. And then they, like, they've drop dropped the a heap, heap of fruit. That's what they do. Yeah. They'll bring in the bees in there to make sure that they pollinate those few flowers that they do keep. Well, last season on this one, I lost everything. Why? I don't know. I'm you can sure. see how you've had a lot of growth coming through and you have to constantly prune it back. So I'm thinking that that may, be, that may help encourage the fruit instead of the new growth. Yeah, well, it will, but you've got a lot yeah. of flowers on here. I mean, even my little trees that I've got there is spallied on a wall, um, yeah. uh, uh, covered like this in flowers, but they still set about, well, they're only two, two years old in there, two or three, they set about a dozen fruit on them, oranges, they're decent. Not as juicy as I would have liked them yet, but again, at the end of the day, they still set fruit. So you're worried about this dropping its fruit again? Yeah, I, I would love to get a handful of oranges at least Bloody. off this one. Hey. Black grit. It has got the black grit this season. More. More, okay. You put more there. You can never have too much of black grit. <laughs> no. huh? But always put your compost in there as well. So yeah. feed it every three months, as you yep. probably do already. Yeah. And yep. when you do that regime, add a little bit of black grit or get the planting mix that we've made. I was mentioning to you earlier, that's got it all in there. Okay. So add that into it and that'll give it the boost and be able to set its fruit. Last Damn. season's onions. Nice. So. That's going to be even better next season. Definitely. You, have you collected every year or is this your first time? Uh, first season of collecting seeds. Okay. Yeah. Enjoy. So I ate from last season yeah. and left them in over winter. Nice. And look at that. He's got his cucumbers in already. That's it. You're going to run out of space. We let him grow up here last year. Yeah. And then I just... Hanging? Hang and eat. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven plants. Or even more. Six. Six plants in one square metre. Unheard of? No. My, <laughs> my father-in-law, God rest his soul, used to put about 60 in two square metres in okay. the little hot house. I thought I put too many here, so... Oh, no, it is, actually, it is. It is but yeah. I'm just... By comparison, there's a lot out there who are actually even crazier than us. OK. For you, but enjoy it, mate. Oh, and you get it to grow. So what are they? Well, I had yeah. another three in there before. Yeah. And the slugs ate them. Yeah. So then I thought, well, this time I'm going to double it up. I'll put six in. Yeah. But they don't like the Lebanese. Stuff. They only like the Continental. They ate them. What, the Lebanese? They ate them. They were the desperate. Slugs ate them. They were desperate. <laughs> well, hey, look at this place. I mean, for the space that you have in here, you've done really well. You're doing really well. Congrats. Potatoes. And they're obviously going to give you a heap of potatoes out of that. Yeah, certainly. Yeah. Get a good couple of kilos out of there. Yeah? Yep. These are actually your seed potatoes. Okay. When you see a couple of kilos, I'm saying, is that all? You should get at least three or four kilos. Like... Wait, well, <laughs> what? what do you class as a couple of kilos? A week? A week? A couple oh, of kilos a week? Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, I think you're saying we'll in one some heap. Figures. Okay, so not two kilos in one heap in the harvest. I don't weigh them. I don't brag. I don't know, I just eat them. <laughs> no, no, I just eat them. Break, but when you add the rate like that, I think, well, yeah. that's a lot of space for two kilos. But if you're harvesting, what, five, I'll be six? i more than two kilos. Oh, you have to be. But you're, you're saying per week on average. So you're pulling out three or four potatoes at a time when you start harvesting. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. You feel like, you feel, I feel the tension. Oh, it's the sun. <laughs> it's finally <laughs> come out. It's on me. You recognise it, eh? I thought well, that was the moon. I wasn't sure what that thing was. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that. We've got the netting on. Did you have this up before? No, I didn't have that last time. Yeah, do you have problems with possums or something? Or no. you just, just thought, put it up? Yeah, just put it up. Nice. Stop the birds from landing on it. This is it. I could, as you get older and greyer, it's going to get longer and more covered, isn't it? That's exactly right. <laughs> fully, fully closed off eventually. Yeah? Are you honestly... No, mezzanine no. level up here to <laughs> and pitch the roof. Oh, look, you're giving me ideas too. I'd love to do that. Would you do it? Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> is she listening? <laughs> Hey, we've, Amanda, we've come up with a new plan. Mez mezzanine level? Yeah, he's told me. Oh, you're in? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's up for it. Okay, you so. You like it, don't you? I do. Pitch that up a bit higher. Mezzanine level there, pick the fruit off the top. Nothing wrong with that. He's nope. seen it done and he's 
just it's like no yeah, I it's not gonna stop I've got to go up you have to I'm out of space here so I've got to go yeah, up yeah 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 no I'm for it it's just imagine, a thought. imagine I, <laughs> we dream <laughs> we, we dream, dream. we do That's dream it. every day I had fig here last time what happened uh the birds kept getting to it and they would they would only grow about that big oh they actually get the fruit yeah but okay. the, the figs would actually just dry out that would, not enough water I don't know I think once I put the veranda up mm -hmm. I didn't get enough sunlight they took too long to grow okay and then they just really died. this spot here I yeah. mean it's still pretty warm it's sheltered by here all day yeah most days so yeah. it's only the afternoon it gets it is what you're saying and then I've got a drain pipe there and they search for water so uh, the roots are okay. taken over okay. so I had yeah. to come out yeah uh, and then I've just put more garden beds I had a persimmon here uh, not persimmon pomegranate Pers pomegranate yeah but it never gave me any fruit. It would make a flower, no Drop fruit. Yeah. This is before Black Grit days. It was actually before um. Black Grit. Correct. You're right. What are you doing out there? Did you find a snail? <laughs> are you you found a spider. It's scared. It's scared. We get blue tongues here too. Oh, do you? Yeah. Nice. Had a um, blue tongue actually really have babies here. Well, it's a good ecosystem you got going. That's yeah. what it means. They eat all the slugs. They live under that rock. So they're actually still here? Uh, yeah. Well, I haven't seen them since summer. But you know they've been under there, yeah. 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 That's, That's great. Where come out from. Now, along here as well, you've had the spalliot apples. That's, a, that's not the one we looked at, is it? Yeah, that, it that one, one and that one. Which one did we chop that's into? That's the one we chopped into. Did you change it at all since we did that? Obviously, well, it it's grown more. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, hasn't it? Uh, so I think it was on a smaller trellis. Okay. Now, how do you want to grow these trees? Are you trying to grow them straight up and bushing with a canopy, or are you trying to spallier them? Because well, that that's one... what I'm not sure of. Is this? Yeah, why you're here today, you look, mate. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm semi-spallier. I'm semi-growth. What are you talking about? <laughs> this is informal. Yep. Oh, it's very informal, and that, that's temporary as well. <laughs> I, I have just um, thrown that up there from some scrap. I'm happy to cut it back for you, but yeah, um, man, I'm happy for you to do that too. You sure? You're gonna do it gently and calmly. And calmly and. Which I love. Remove any of the backward growth that's coming along. See that one back there? Yep. That one there, nice and close. That's nice. And over here, all these vertical. Give me these seconds. Yeah, there, there you go. There you go. Let's clean Get in there, Vasily. All right, let's Chop it back, mate. All right, so we cut this back to a couple of buds. Get this one down here for now. We've got too many here. Cut that off here. So I can do this? Yeah. There you go. Sorry, Dad. Don't worry, it'll grow back, <laughs> mate. It'll grow back. Now, I want you to get your soft tie so we can tie this up evenly across here, like that. Like that. So we've done the one side. Have a look yep. at that. Yeah, let's see how it's coming along sideways. Are they ready to pick yet? Well, got to lay out now. Yeah, that's pretty good. First one, mate. Go on, you okay. eat it. You tell no, me. No. Oh, that looks good. Now you're going to have lots of more fruit coming off that one in the following year where that, oh, okay. the fruit is itself. Yep. But remove the end of that uh, branch so it doesn't grow any further. From about there? Yep. And there you are. And that's pretty much it. That's the start of it. And as it grows, you just keep thinning it out and anything that grows out or away or in, yep. remove that and keep it nice and flat. But you've got a nice fan shape going on here. Yeah, correct. We had some lower branches here, but I removed them because it wasn't getting enough sunlight. Okay. In the previous season, I didn't get any fruit. I lost all my fruit. And they got well, did a Did it disease. flower? It did flower. Oh, but it didn't send it its fruit. Disease. And the, well, the fruit got spots on it and didn't look very healthy at all. What do you mean? Like there was um, a grub inside or was it no, like it was a, black, a, a black, spots. black spots? Yeah, but even the, the leaves had brown dots all over the leaves. Yeah. There was disease. It was disease. So you cut it back really we hard. Cut it back, yeah. And you've got fruit up the top here now. And I removed yeah. the bottom <coughs> branches because they don't get enough sunlight. Okay, you've got to start working on these shorter branches and bringing them back a bit shorter so you can get the flowers on the ends rather than on these long pieces here, as you see there. Okay. So normally you'd cut them back to two or three buds. Like that, see that where it's there? At one stage that was a nice fat plump bud there. But you've allowed it to grow out and it's come up to this point here, which will be fine. You'll get fruit on that. And the aim here is now to stop it from growing out any further, right? And you always cut it back to that same point there so the flowers stay there. But otherwise, if you bring it back down to this point, shorten it, you'll get it to burst out here and eventually become a fruit bearer, all right? So you can turn these into fruit bearers like the buds there. 
And the old theory is don't cut close to it, cut further away. That'll start to die back. Hopefully you get enough sap flow pushing into it, thinking while it's dying back, the tree's going to make that a flower. Because when anything looks like it's at the end of its life cycle, all it wants to do is reproduce. And that's what we all do, you know. So that's the same thing with the plants. So cutting it back, rather than having these spindly plants, cut it back to the, the low buds here, where it's nice and fat and layered. You can see layers upon layers. Yep. Yep. That there, you'll cause it to swell out and eventually fruit, and then you'll have fruit down here, okay. nice and close to it. Um, I'll do a couple of more segments on my trees and you'll see what I mean, if you're following us. Or you don't follow yes, me anymore. Yes, I do. Oh, oh good. I'm not yeah. around there. So <laughs> check, it, check it out. You'll be able to find a lot of stuff on our online YouTube channel and all things like that on how we prune our plants back to create that. And it'll look, there's a lot of other people out there as well. As Craig Cashery has got a lot of information and books on pruning as well if you want to research that even further. But at the end of the day, you're doing a great job. I mean, for the space you've got here, I'm blown away, really am. You've, you've really utilised it well.